Okay, so the COVID-19 vaccine has just started in Australia. Uh, it's going to, well, it started today, really. Um, and there's a lot of anti-vaxxed protests and everything going on, and, and people are saying, oh, the government's trying to microchip us. Uh, so uh, being an electronic engineer, this is my sort of area of expertise, microchips and that sort of thing. So I thought I'd uh, do a video and see if I can debunk this. But uh, it's not as simple as you think. So let's get stuck into it, and I'll tell you what I mean. So here we go. So this is uh, Hitachi. They made they're making the smallest RFID chip, and um, if you look here, let's see if I can highlight it. Uh, it only measures 0.15 by 0.15 millimeters. So keep keep that uh, measurement in mind. All right. So the other thing to look at is it's it's called uh, you know, it's, they call it uh, powder or smart dust or smart powder and um, it's a read-only memory chip, so just keep keep those two facts in mind. It's 0.15 square in size, uh, 7.5 micrometers thick, and it's a read-only memory chip. So if you look on, uh, I've got another site here with Hitachi. Uh, they're saying they're going to use it in uh, fraud pre prevention, that sort of thing. So powder chips, uh, looks like they've actually gone down to 0 0.01, 0 0.05 millimeters by 0.0. 0 0.5 millimeters by 0 0.005 millimeters thick. So that's pretty small. <laughs> I must admit that's pretty small. And I got me thinking. Hang on a minute. How big are the needles that we're using in the COVID vaccine? So this is this is the uh, RFID powder. So this is the heart of conspiracy theories right here. That they're going to inject us with those tiny little things in that vial there, and uh, they're going to track us everywhere. Aha! evil plan and um, at first sight it seems like mm, this could be possible that's very small so I was looking at the size of the uh, COVID vaccine needles uh, let's have a look here did I actually uh, oh here we go so what was that one I just went on COVID vaccine administration oh, I think that was the first one I was just looking at the needles so here, so search for needles. This is on the CDC site. Uh, how to administer the uh, Pfizer BioNTech uh, COVID vaccine? Um, so vaccine preparation and administration summary. So it talks about it. So I uh, searched the document for needle size and found that it uses a 21 gauge or narrower needle. So saying using a sterile alcohol prep pad for each vial, wipe off the stoppers, blah blah. blah. Using a 21 gauge or narrow needle, draw 1.8 millimeters uh, of saline into a mixing syringe, etc., etc. So there we go. So that's how that's how it's all prepared using a 21 gauge needle. So I thought, oh, how big is a 21 gauge needle? Is it is it small enough to administer an RFID chip? And lo and behold, let's just zoom in a bit on this. It is. It is actually small enough, um, or large enough to to administer an RFID chip. So this is uh, where I Darwin microfluids. I'll just uh, see if I can move my little window here of me, so you can read it here. Darwin microfluids. They they uh, uh, basically manufacture needles. Looks like, and the 21 gauge needle, according to their chart here, is. 0.02 in, uh, inches diameter, so in a diameter of 0.5 millimeter. So basically, that will that fit through because it's 0.15 millimeter, and the smallest ones we've seen is 0 0.05 on the dust. Right, so I'm thinking, oh, here we go. This is, this is very interesting, isn't it? But what these conspiracy theories people are forgetting is how the uh, dose is administered. So there was talk in uh, Europe uh, of getting extra doses out of the COVID vaccine. So I'll just zoom in on this a bit. So they're saying that, uh, I'll just highlight this. Uh, to clarify, they're saying the uh, CHMP is recommended updating the product information for Comunati, whatever it is. Com Community to clarify that each vial contains six doses of the vaccine. And I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> How the hell are they going to uh, 
program these chips before they administer them to you because they've got six it's not like uh how are they going to do it like how are you going to program the chip before it's delivered as it's a read-only memory uh, it's not an eprom it's not an electri electronically erasable programmable read-only memory it's actually just a rom which is a read-only memory um how are they going to program it? Is every station going to have... It's like, here comes Walrus Rider. We'll plug in these details here. Program the chip. Uh, put it in the vial. But hang on a minute. Uh, there's six. We can put six in the vial. So, yeah, uh, which one's which one's Walrus Riders again? We've got five others here. You know what I mean? It's like, how, how's it going to do it? How are you going to make sure that you're picking up the right right chip? Are oh, you going to put it... You know, take the syringe off. Put, the, put a little microchip in the top there. Also... How are you going to program it? How are you going to program it? And you'll be in line and you'll be able to see that they're not programming chips and putting them in the needles, are they? <laughs> Logistically, it's impossible. They cannot, even though, uh, in theory, it, it can work. The chips are small enough to fit through the, uh, the diameter of the needle, but... Um, logically and logistically, it just can't happen. It just cannot happen. So... There you go, guys. Don't worry about uh, them microchipping you because, as I've pointed out here, with logic, even though it's technically possible, it's not logistically possible. Um, <laughs> the only way you could probably do it was if, uh, uh, if you're in prison or whatever, and they administer one per prisoner, and they got all the information there and loaded up the syringe and everything, but. Um, I, I personally I can't see it happening uh, logically and logistically and I don't think we've got anything to worry about because um, yeah, that was one of my concerns I've been an electronics guy you know it's very easy to track things RFID tags are becoming popular 5G network we'll be able to pinpoint uh, pinpoint uh, locations and everything so yeah, you should be able to track people but nah, not, not in this method they're, they're better off just tracking you on your mobile phone and this is my mobile phone, my old uh, Nokia. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if they're going to track you, they're going to track you through the mobile phone. They're not going to track you via uh, a RFID chip administered through a COVID-19 vaccine. It's as simple as that. It's just not logistically possible um, because there's six there's six doses per vial, so it's not going to work. If it was one dose per vial and they had your information beforehand. Maybe they had uh, the chip in the vial and then a chip on the outside and they'd scan the outside and match up this is the correct chip for Walrus Rider and they'd put the syringe in and, and suck up the, uh, the chip and put it in my arm. Yeah, that might work, but that's not how it works. There's six, there's six doses per vial. So it's not going to work. It just isn't going to work. So... There you go, guys. Hope that cleared it up and all the uh, people that are scared of the vaccine, that's one less thing to worry about. <laughs> They're not going to microchip you, I can assure you. And there's the evidence right there. I'll put all the links in the description so you can look through yourself and reassure yourself that um, great conspiracy theory, I must admit. What a good way to do things. And uh, it's been around for a while. They're going to chip us, you know, and we've got the um, Bible bashers that are going to say, you know, the mark of the beast and etc etc but I think uh, there's a lot easier ways to track us and track us through the mobile network so yeah you don't need you don't need to track us via the COVID vaccine and microchipping you using RFID tags okay guys so don't forget to like subscribe and share and I'll see you next time cheers